Hi guys, it's Amy. Today I'm going to show you a great drill to fix your chicken wing. So at the top of the backswing, your right elbow position should be like this. It should be somewhat pointing down toward the ground and your hand should look like you're able to support a plate in your right hand. But if you chicken wing, it's going to look like this. You're going to either have the elbow pointing toward the back that way or up at the sky. Like they say it's a chicken wing, kind of like your elbow's flying up like this. So with the chicken wing, it's either you have chicken wing in the back swing only, or you have the chicken wing in the finish only, or a lot of the times um, amateurs have chicken wing in the back swing and in the finish. So if you chicken wing, what happens is when you take it back, your club is supposed to travel on plane like so. But if you have chicken wing, you're going to kind of alter the swing plane throughout your whole golf swing. So this is going to actually um, decrease your accuracy. And since chicken wing, you use your hands to create a lot of power. So you're going to lose a lot of distance as well. In order for us to fix this chicken wing, um, we, we're going to have to switch our main control in the whole entire swing. What I mean by that is when you're chicken winging, basically you're using your hands and your shoulders. Your hands pull and it coils your shoulders and your hands and shoulder uncoil like this. And that's when chicken wing happens because you're pulling back and forth. So we're going to have to change our main control from hands and shoulders to thighs and hips. So it, goes, it should go like this. You turn and coil using your hips and thighs and you uncoil using your hips and thighs. See the difference? Way different than chicken winging, coiling your shoulders versus coiling your thighs and hips. Okay. So in order to do that, I have a simple drill I'm going to show you. Um, let me grab my tennis ball. So in 2014, US Open champion Martin Keimer used to use this drill a lot. He made a necklace out of a tennis ball like this. And basically what he did was to put the tennis ball in between his wrists like this and hit golf balls this way. Um, this is actually a great drill to keep your elbows squeezed together throughout the whole golf swing. That way you won't have your elbows going apart and flying like the chicken wing. Plus, um, when you have your elbows squeezed throughout the whole golf swing, it's impossible to use your hands and shoulders as main source of power. So you're kind of forced to have to use your body to get your hands traveling back and forth. So it's a great drill to fix your chicken wing and the main source of power. However, this is kind of um, a little bit too small in size and it's a little bit hard so it hurts my wrist when I do this. So I have a little bit better drill for you. So I prepared an empty water bottle here. It's pretty big, it's like 1.5 liter size. Um, since this is long in length rather than a tennis ball, if you kind of mess up during the golf swing, it won't fall out as easy as the tennis ball would. So it's easier for you. And since it's bigger in size, it's softer, it's not gonna hurt you as much. So basically, this is how you do this. You're going to put the empty water bottle in between your wrist like this. And you're going to make some swings. If you chicken wing, what you're gonna do is you're going to spread your elbows out like this and you're going to lose the bottle. Our main motive is to not lose the bottle. So let's say you squeeze your elbows together so you don't lose the bottle. But if you try and swing with your hands and shoulders, then you really won't get too far. And you're going to be like, this drill is way too hard because I can't make a swing and it hurts my shoulders and everywhere. So if you use your arms and shoulders to hit the ball, it'd be hard. So if you squeeze the bottle and you really use your thighs and hips as your main control, then it's a lot easier and you'll be able to swing full. You see that difference? Um, so let's just kind of zoom in a little bit and I want to explain a little bit more in detail on your joints. 
So we'll, we'll divide, we'll look at your wrist joint, your elbow joint, and your shoulder joint. So if you're chicken winging, what happens is you're pulling to turn, you, basically. So your wrists are very stiff, and your shoulder joints are very stiff as well. Um, but your elbows are kind of coming apart and it's flying around, so your elbows are actually very loose. But if you actually do this drill, you're squeezing your elbows together, so your elbow's going to be very stiff, which is opposite of what you're probably used to. And when you swing back, your wrists will have to relax better and your shoulders will be relaxed as well. I want you to do a lot of these practice swings and I want you to be able to tell the difference between um, the pressure in your joints. Okay, so once you are used to making practice swings with this, let's go ahead and hit a golf ball. So let's pretend the bottle is between your wrists. You're squeezing the bottle so you don't drop it throughout the golf swing. So elbows together, use thighs and hips. You see how the elbows were kind of squeezing together throughout the whole golf swing and never flew apart like this? So uh, once you do this, before I finish up the lesson here, I want to give you another tip. A lot of people that do chicken wing in the finish kind of looks like this. So your body is only halfway finished, but your hands are full, fully finished like this. So when your body is only half finished, your hands should be half finished as well, right? So I want you to hit and then check your finish. So if you're only halfway done with your body and your hands are like this, you want to fix it. So I really want you to try and sync up your hands to your body. So if you're, when your body stops at halfway, your hands have to stop at halfway. So once you get used to syncing it up and your hands are where your body is, then from then on, you're not going to finish up your finish with your hands like this, but you're going to finish the proper way with the body turn, so it'll look like this. Once you know how to finish in sync, instead of finishing up with your hands like this, you're going to rotate and make a beautiful full finish. Okay, so those of you who have chicken wing going on, I want you to do a lot of practice swings with the water bottle between your wrists and really check your finish so you sync it up so you have that beautiful full turn finish. I hope you're able to follow along and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.